So we were notified by our subscribers that they are getting some errors when they are filing IT or U. We researched on this topic and now we have come up with the solution. So let me show you a demo and then we will see what is the error and how to resolve that error. So let's say I'm filing my ITR for 21-22 assessment year, which is basically last year. And then for example, I'm uh, filing ITR1. I will download this utility Excel based. This got downloaded. This is the file which got downloaded. Let me extract this. Extract to. This is the file. So let's open this file. If you want to support long format videos wherein we teach or we explain these kind of issues, we need your support. So please do subscribe to the channel so that we feel motivated and keep making these kind of educational videos which are really helpful. Okay, so let's start filling this quickly. So first of all, you need to enable editing. You need to click on this. You will get another option. Macro have been disabled. You need to enable content. Just click on this. Okay, and you need to just start filling these uh, green boxes. Now, in order to fasten the process, we can simply import prefill from the income tax portal and we can simply upload uh, data using that prefill file. So let's do that. So now I am into the system. I've logged in, uh, click on e-file income tax return and here you will see one option. So you will see download prefilled data. Just click on this and one file will get downloaded. Just select the year. So this is uh, 2122. Just select that and click on download. So now you can see this file is there in the download section and we will use this file further on the portal. So now I've come on the Excel utility. Just click on import prefill. Just click on this and select this prefill file and click on OK. So by this you will get all these uh, green cells filled to the extent possible. Just uh, keep moving forward and keep updating the green cells. So once you file the basic information above, uh, you can just uh, update this one. No, the important section is this uh, return is filed in response to notice. So just click on this and select 139.8a, which is basically your updated return. Click on this. Once you click on this, once you select this option 139.8a, you will see that there is another tab which has popped in. And this is how this tab looks like and you need to update the details here as well. Now let me fill these basic details like email ID, phone numbers and so on and then we will see further. So I have updated the salary amount over here, 4 lakh or whatever is the amount you can put. When you are on the second tab, you can just start filling these numbers, uh, these cells, whether uh, return filed previously for this assessment year, yes, no, whatever is the case. In this case it is no in our example. Let's select no over here, then the next one is once you select no to this cell, these will get uh, grayed out. Now update this next cell which says are you eligible to file updated return? Of course this will be yes. So the reason why I am showing all these steps again and again is that if there is a mistake in any of these cells, you will not be able to submit your return. So please pay full attention to the details so that you do not face any kind of error. Now coming to this section, reason for updating your uh, income tax return, whatever is the applicable reason you can select, I will select return previously not filed. And then are you filing the updated return during the period? There will be two periods over here. So you can select whichever is applicable you can select. In this case, it is up to 12 months from the end of the relevant assessment year. I've selected that. Whenever you update any uh, sheet, just click on this validate and if there are any errors, the sheet will uh, give some error message. You can resolve that and just click on validate and keep going next, next, next on the subsequent tabs. So once all the basic details are updated in all the tabs, just click, uh, just come to the first tab income details and you need to click on calculate tax. Once you do uh, this step, you can just scroll down and see there will be an interest amount uh, in, under this section. 234F there will be some amount which is payable so total tax fees interest payable is coming as 1000 rupees similarly when you come on this part B ATI this tab you will see that yes there is a tax due amount which is 1000 rupees you need to ensure that you have paid this tax and you have updated the chalan details also only then you will be able to file it so let's uh, do the tax payment now so let me tell you the website. It is just write tax payment online. You will get this website online services.tin.egov.nsdl.com. So you can just click on this first link. Please ensure that this is the right link. Otherwise, 
because there are so many fake websites also you need to be lit, uh, little bit careful about it so if you see there are two section one is for tds another one is for non tds and in non tds section you will see chalan number uh, itns280 this is where you need to click to pay your uh, taxes so just click on this proceed so this is how the chalan needs to be uh, created so tax applicable just fill this one uh, 0021 income tax other than companies because you're not a company you're an individual you will select this section and then type of payment you can just select self-assessment tax you you have to select this 300 over here the next step is for net banking just select your bank from here and then the pan number assessment year very important point over here in assessment year for example you are filing for assessment year 21 22 so do select 21 22 only from here then the basic details like address and all and then you just submit it proceed it let's uh, i will just fill up this information and then when we will click on proceed i'll show you everything once you update all these details like address and all you can just click on proceed here you will be routed to this page and then you can just scroll down click on this i agree and then submit to bank so now whichever bank you choose uh, you will see login details of that bank and this uh, page will appear once you log in and then you can just write 1000 rupees uh, in the income tax amount you can write 5000 rupees if your income is more than 5 lakhs so once you update this scroll down put the passwords and all and just hit submit once the payment is done you can come to the tab part b ati and update these tax details over here basically you will see a bsr code in the chalan date of deposit serial number of the chalan and the amount just update this detail now you have updated the details over here this will be the thousand rupees chalan and if you see tax paid will also be thousand rupees now let's see now you need to come to the first tab income details and click on calculate tax let's see if we see or if we get any errors over here now after uh, clicking on the calculate tax the sheet takes some time and then finally you just need to click on generate json now when i click on this it gives me this kind of message you just need to click on ok and then you need to click on save json here once we click that it gives you a message which says that the json file is saved on the same location where this itr is saved so let's go and check what kind of file is there so if you see this file got saved here at the same location where this itr was uh, saved now if you are getting some errors uh, while generating just this uh, json file what you can do probably is so if you get an error uh, just come to this part b ati and update these sections sometimes if these sections are not updated you might get an error so whatever is the if you are showing some salary income you can just update the same amount over here and then the error will be resolved one more case in uh, sometimes you might find that the excel is showing some errors in that case please check that there is one section tds this tab you should not update anything over here sometimes if you update your chalan details over here the excel will show some errors further if you scroll down you will see that there is a section for self tax payment self-assessment tax payments again you do not have to update this section so please do not update this section the only place wherein you have to update your tax details is this particular tab which says part b ati this tab and this section which says tax paid details only as per updated returns so if you have seen the video till here you have seen that step by step we have gone through the entire process and i did not get any error i hope this video is helpful for you if if you want to support long format videos wherein we teach or we explain these kind of issues we need your support so please do subscribe to the channel so that we feel motivated and keep making these kind of educational videos which are really helpful so there can be some errors which might occur when you are trying to submit the itr the json file so let's see what kind of uh, error or what kind of message we see at the time of submission once you log in you can just click on file income tax return file income tax return over here and then you can click on uh, the assessment year which will be 2122 section will be 1398a updated return then click no over here because audit might not be applicable on you select itr type so whichever itr you fill you need to just update that one two three four then click on continue 
now it will say attach file and now we will see what is the error which we are getting and how we resolve that so click on this attach file and attach that json file so if you see the validation has been successful we have not got any error now let's click on proceed to verification simply you can click on continue you can simply click on any of the ways you want to e-verify and then click continue and submit so i will not be proceeding further because then this will result in actual submission which i don't want to do right now but uh, as you see there are uh, no errors as such which occurred and return can be easily submitted on the portal if you want to support long format videos wherein we teach or we explain these kind of issues we need your support so please do subscribe to the channel so that we feel motivated and keep making these kind of educational videos which are really helpful and of course this is a free of cost uh, educational videos which we are making so that it benefit all of us Give it a like if you have learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and Jai Hind.